So if you have the My Sun Power app and a Sun Power system, you probably received an email over the past couple months stating that some of the key features in your app are going away. This absolutely sucks. We are tremendously upset that this is happening. Um, but in this video, we hope to go through some alternatives that could help alleviate the situation. Hey everyone, my name is Anthony Sicari from New York State Solar Farm. And if you're watching this video, you probably got an email from SunStrong over the past couple weeks stating that some of your key features in your My Sun Power monitoring system are going to be behind a paywall pretty soon. Some key features like your production, historical production, historical consumption, they're now gonna charge you $10 a month or $100 a year. And this is very frustrating to us. We can't state enough how upset we are about this. But in this video, what I hope to do is give you other options that are available to you so you don't have to pay that $10 a month with SunStrong. So you probably got an email in your inbox that looks very similar to this. One of our customers sent us this, and I have SunPower on my house too. So this is an email that I got as well. In this email, it goes over some of the basic features that will be included at no cost. Some of those features are system health alerts, get notified about communication issues or device problems. What I take that as meaning to me is that if one of the microinverters goes bad on the roof, you should still be notified even though you will not have panel level monitoring. So going with the glass half full method, that's, that is a good thing that you will be notified still if a device is down, if it works the way that they're saying. Live system monitoring, so you will be able to see the live stats of your system at any given time. Sun vault management at New York State Solar Farm. Uh, we've never installed a sun vault, so that's not um, important uh, to, for us to go over here. But for people that are watching this video that do have sun vault systems, you can control your battery settings, view status, and performance uh, with the Sun Vault. Wi-Fi management, so you still should be able to change your Wi-Fi password and firmware updates to the systems. So that's what you're still going to be able to maintain. Now, basically, what are they taking away or what are they charging for at the end of the day? This is what they're charging for. And it's really tough to pay for something that you've had for free and that you've already paid for on your system. That's what's the most frustrating to us is there's no added value what they're doing here. This is already what you currently had as a SunPower customer now being charged for it. Also something to keep in mind, lease customers are not subject to this. This is only for cash purchase or loan customers. So if you were a lease customer, probably should have said this earlier in the video, but disregard this because nothing is changing uh, for you. You will still have all of the My SunPower app uh, access. Um, so, Historical data and performance, track or analyze your system's past performance, panel level monitoring, view individual panel performance, production and consumption, analytics, understand your energy usage and patterns, monthly performance reports, receive detailed summaries of your system's performance. So this is now what's gonna be considered a premium feature and be $10 a month or $100 a year. If you scroll to the bottom of their frequently asked questions, what happens if I don't subscribe to premium features? You'll maintain access to basic features at no cost, including the live system monitoring, system health and alerts, Sun Vault management, and Wi-Fi and firmware updates. So that's where you're at with Sun Vault, with SunStrong. You could stick with them, maintain all of the features you currently have for $10 a month or $100 a year, or you could just have all of the free features, which are your um, live status updates and knowing if a device is down or if there's an issue. How those alerts look, I don't know. We'll basically learn together as they roll out this paid subscription method. But what are some other options that you have? What can you do to try to avoid this charge? What, what, can, what are other options out there? In working with my colleague, Tim, and going through different message boards, we came across this company. It's called getcurrents.com. 
And basically what they did is they created a backend URL to MySunPower so you could put in your MySunPower credentials in there and see all of the production of your solar system. You could get all of your daily production as well as historical production on there. You're not going to get consumption data, but really at the end of the day, production data is the most important because you could always view your utility bill to see what your consumption is and compare that versus your solar production. So what does it look like when you sign up for them? You'll get this chart. This is the chart that I put in for my home, put in my information, and then it started to track my solar production. So we put this in February 26th was the date that we started. And you could see there, is, there was a glitch with this. On March 1st, it dumped a ton of production on the graph and we emailed them, we're trying to get clarification on this. But every single day, other than that one day, all of the data has been accurate. So this is an option to look at your historical production data. It doesn't hurt just to sign up, this is free, and see what your solar produced without having to have that paywall in front of it. So this is one option. Also, you could export it to a CSV, something cool that Tim did here. He downloaded the data and then put a daily graph chart next to it just so you could see it. This really looks pretty similar to what you would see on your My Sun Power app. So uh, you could see also here there was a glitch in that one day. We took that one day out of data and all of the rest of the data was accurate. And um, in using this for the limited time that we have, it seems, to, it seems to be working. So this is one option of getting around having, this is one option around the, the paywall of seeing your production. The next option is end phase. If you would like to exit the full MySunPower ecosystem, end phase actually is working directly with and upholding the warranty of the microinverters on the back of the panels. So if you're, I believe it's a 2018 customer or later, basically 2018 to current, you have Enphase microinverters on the back of your panels. So you could work directly with Enphase. They will come out and install a new monitoring box, reflash the microinverters, so you could have all of the features you had before, if not more, with no paid monthly subscription but there is an upfront charge of $899 to do that. That's not a charge that comes to us, that goes to end phase directly. You are working with them, you buy this directly off of their website. I could tell you from experience, if this was us doing this, this would cost more than $899 to do with the equipment and the man hours. That's everything, that's them coming out, rolling a truck to your home, installing this new equipment, and getting full access to the end phase monitoring system, seeing production data, consumption data, panel level monitoring data. So what are the options? You could stick with SunStrong and just have the basic level of monitoring. You could have the paid option through SunStrong and have everything you already had. You can go to getcurrents.com and free see all of your past production data and current production for no charge through their website, which I think is a pretty cool option, which I signed up for. Or the third option, you could go directly to Enphase. We will link the URL below of where on the Enphase store to purchase the monitoring kit and work directly with them to replace your My Sun Power monitoring system with the Enphase monitoring system that has all of the features that you had before, if not more. Again, this is extremely upsetting to us as a company. Please know that if there was anything we could have done to avoid this or to help alleviate this for our customers, we would have done it. But at the end of the day, SunPower filed Chapter 11 and SunStrong bought the MySunPower mon monitoring platform. And that's why we are in the situation that we're in. The other thing to keep in mind is if you are using the website to log in and view your monitoring of your system, the website is no longer as well. So all your viewing of your solar production through My Sun Power has to be through the app. With the Sun Power bankruptcy, Sun Power sold off the URL and the rights to someone else, who they went to, probably the other bidder out in California that took over 
the rest of the SunPower assets. But right now, SunStrong was able to maintain the access to the app, which is what you'll use to view your monitoring moving forward. It sucks that we had to make this video. I hope this was helpful. If you want to reach out to us in the comments below, anything that we've missed, is there a site out there that we don't know about that you've discovered already um, that's more useful than anything that we listed here? Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.